guys, it's Roisin from the Actors, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a really cool weaving decoration. So what you will need for this is a circle, a circle of card. You can get it from the back of a cereal box, like I did, or else you can get a piece of card that you already have, colour card, and use it. If you want it, you get it from the box, the back of a cereal box. You can decorate it, but that's optional. What else you'll need for this product is some wool or string, um, a bit more than a meter long. You will need some scissors. You will also need a marker pen. So, let's get started. First thing you need to do is get your circle of card. And you need to get your marker pen. You need to put in eight markers on your circle of card. If you look at mine closely and you look all around the edges, you can see eight markers. One on the top, bottom, two on the sides. Think of that as a cross. We're going straight down the middle and straight across as a cross. So you have one marker at the top, one at the bottom, one at the side, and one at the other side. Next thing we need to do is make is do an X with the markers. So a marker here and a marker going down there. A marker here and a marker going down there. To make an X. If you see I have a marker right there. I have a marker right there. I have a marker right here. And I have a marker right there. I have one there for this one's the cross. Here for the cross, here for the cross, here for the cross, here for the cross, and here for the cross. So, an X in the cross. Once you have got that done, you need to get your scissors. Look at your marker points. Cut them as far as they go. They need to be about a centimetre long. One of my marker points, and now you need to cut them all. So I've made a, cr I've cut a cross now with them. One of them at the bottom, one of them at the very side, and one of them at the top, one of them at the other side. Now I need to cut the rest of them. you've cut all your markers successfully. If you look, each marker I have made has been cut. Once you've gotten that far, you need to get your string. Cut about a, a bit more than a meter long of your string. turn it around. I have put the string here. I'll turn it around. It looks like this. On your decorative side, may not. Once you have made a knot, make about a triple knot. Make another one on top of it. I like the knot that you tie your, that, that, that you tie your shoelaces with. And then make a third one. Now, your, your weaving tool is secure. So if you 
look at the back. That's what it looks like. Now the string will fall off. So next what you do is you put it through the bosom. Top bosom. Next you do that again, except on this side. So it looks like this now. And you put it through straight to the next one that should be straight in front of it. So so far it looks like this. Next, go to the next one. The next one. Should look like this. Follow through again to your next marker point. It should look like this. And now you've completed one full set. Continue on and do another full set until your string runs out. I'm going to continue on. If you're finding me a bit quick, don't forget you can always pause this video and rewind it. I have just done my second one. I'm going to move on to my third one. Okay, I've now run out of string. Here's what you can do next. You should have about this much string left. Enough to make a knot or two. What you're going to do here is Now your decoration is made. One that I made earlier, if you look, it looks like this. A star. And it had two sides, so if you turned it around, it looked like this. You should have a little string, so you can hang it up on, so you can tie it up to anything you have. Experiment with lots of, di with lots of different designs, to see what you can make. I might have another tutorial later to show you how to make more complicated designs of this. Thank you guys. Stay arty and bye.